iNews Views, January 25th. Courage and perseverance make difficulties disappear. Formaldehyde is a known carcinogen that's present in all cigarettes, but some research by a U.S. university has now found that levels of the deadly chemical are even higher in e-cigarettes. When users of the new nicotine delivery system are vaping at the high voltage setting, they may be getting up to 15 times more formaldehyde than the already high levels in regular cigarettes. Doctors warn that health problems among e-cigarette users may only start showing up 10 to 15 years from now. Disneyland has a measles outbreak. The California happiest place on earth has been found to harbor the highly contagious virus, so only those people that have been vaccinated or already had the disease should visit the venues. Children less than one year old should also not go to the park since they may be too young to have been vaccinated. Measles is more contagious than polio, smallpox, or the flu. China's economic growth is slowing down to its lowest pace in more than two decades. Economists fear that as the world's number two economy loses steam, global growth is predicted to stay in a low growth rut for years to come. The World Bank says that there is a low probability of a hard landing for the Chinese economy because of its large foreign currency reserves. But other countries' economies may be vulnerable to a slowdown. This fear may be one of the reasons why oil prices are expected to remain relatively low through 2016. Abenomics is losing its luster as investors' faith in Japan's attempts to revive its economy wane. The majority of financial professionals are very bearish on the country and its leaders, with only 7% of the region's economists having bullish opinions of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's policies. Interns in South Korea's fashion industry have been taken advantage of by unscrupulous designers who pay these young workers about $300 per month, which is less than half of the legally guaranteed monthly minimum wage of $760. The controversy came to light after We Make Price, one of Korea's largest deal-of-the-day sites, got in hot water over unfulfilled hiring promises by the CEO of a prominent fashion industry company. Korea's Ministry of Employment and Labor said that it would intensify its monitoring of working conditions for interns. Delivery Nation, one of Korea's food order directory services, has listings for 150,000 of the country's 200,000 restaurants. Its ads blanket subways and TV networks with over-the-top Hollywood-style scenarios. The CEO is considering expanding its operations to Japan, the U.S., Singapore, and Hong Kong. The U.S. and Europe have similar businesses, so the competition will be a challenge.